Uh, what do we have here? Could be anything. What the heck? My buddy Rick gave me this. Um, actually, this summer during the yard sale. He says, here, Frank, you can have this. I don't know. But it says, I haven't opened it yet. So this is a, an official unboxing. Frankie Cheese Vintage Toy Adventures. Mm. Uh, this is an RC car, 118th scale Porsche 956. There's catalog number on there. Made in Singapore. The body is red. Very interesting. Uh, he didn't tell me where he got it. He goes to a lot of estate cells, so I'd imagine it's an estate cell. It says Mary's Fragile. It's a Porsche race car. Xmas. Uh, Christmas. 1987-88. Um, there's a little order form on the side. There's a name and an address and everything. Uh, I won't say that name, but it was ordered from the J.C. Penel, J.C. Penny Regional Catalog Center. Ooh, uh, this person's in West Virginia. It just says Porsche res, uh, race car. It was ordered on 12-15-1987. Uh, we'll see if this is going to be a long video or not. I don't. <laughs> I haven't seen what's in it. This could be some Chukacara. So let's unbox this thing. It's got a, it says Mary's fragile, but Mary's not the name on the uh, receipt. So maybe that was there was the uh, the daughter's Porsche car. Maybe just assuming. All right. Um, oh, there we go. Look at this. All right, no bugs. <laughs> It's been it's been sitting in my shelf for I don't know six months, uh, but look at that, look at that. It's pretty cool, huh? All right. So it looks pretty nice. Has it been played with before? Is this the first time it's been removed from the box? Don't know. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's a Nico or a Nico. How do you pronounce it? Nico. I think I have something else from them too. So now I have two cars from them. Oh man, this is pretty nice shape. Look at this. I'll go ahead and put this in. Does it work? Yeah, it screws in there. Um, so there's the car. I'm taking the car out. So this has low speed and it does have a turbo. So this is good left, right, and it does have a turbo. It's old school, 27 megahertz. Oh, better not have a battery in it. It does have a battery. However, it hasn't doesn't look like it leaked. Usually you open these up and they leak. Uh, so let's take a look. Does it even still have does it even still work? No, there's no on-off switch on it. So, uh, so we'll eventually have to swap it out. Usually them things leak and they mess everything up. So when you put your electronics away, take the batteries out. Because you never know when the next time you're gonna play with it. It could be uh, 40 years from now. <laughs> Uh, all right, this looks pretty nice. Look at that. Uh, okay, this has been played with before. I see some scratches and stuff on the bottom. Uh, luckily, there's no batteries in it, so that's good news. Oh my goodness, Ew. there is some corrosion in there, as you can see. So somebody at one time left the batteries in here. So probably the early to mid 90s according to this battery somebody pulled out of storage and found the batteries completely corroded so i'm not sure this is going to work i'm probably going to take this in the back uh, in the frankie cheese workshop and maybe try to clean that up a little bit uh, to see if this still works uh looks pretty nice got some papers in here uh it's just the old instructions yeah everything's in here look at that Take the papers out of here and get rid of this uh, styrofoam. Uh, we got our warranty. Nyko? Is it Nyko? Is that how you pronounce it? Nyko, Nyko. Because I already have a Nyko car. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I should send this warranty in. <laughs> what if they still cover it? Ah, it don't work anymore. Okay. Porsche 956 Turbo, radio control, full function, forward, reverse, left, right, high, low speed. 
All right, two times two speed forward drive provided recharge jack for NICADs if you're running some NICAD batteries in there. Uh, yes, please send me my personalized Pico Vito vehicle ownership certificate. Because <laughs> that's just send these in to see if you even get a response. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it just says, you know, how to care for your product and all that. Because look at this kid right here. He's just having a hoot. <laughs> for best results, hold control unit straight up. Do not point it at the car. Yes. Lord of Mainburn. Uh, so I'm going to pause this video here and we're going to put some batteries in there. It looks like I need four AA batteries. At least I think it was four, maybe more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven batteries. I'm going to go dig up seven batteries and a, and a nine volt. Uh, so stand by. So I got it cleaned up. I just kind of took a little tiny screwdriver, scraped it up, and then kind of brushed it and got a little bit, uh, some sandpaper, just kind of make sure you get electrical contact in there. It's about the best I'm going to get. I definitely would clean, if it, if it works, I'll clean it up better down the road. Um, so let's just see if we get, okay. okay. It lights up. That's good news. Let's get that. Let's pop the batteries in. Like I said, I haven't, I haven't pre-tried this. So if it don't work, then I probably won't release this video. And if it works, I'll release the video. Yay. What does the potato say? <laughs> the, Fra the Frankie potato. Oh, I'm one battery short. One, two, three, four, five, six. It takes seven batteries. Oh, I'll be back. Seven. Good gravy. All right. Seven batteries. Let me see if I do the math right. Seven batteries. Seven, I had the sex. I had three, carry the one. That's 4,000 volts. All right, battery number seven. And now we enter a time capsule. All right, seal it up. Does it power on? <laughs> Don't know. Oh, it also has a high low function on the back. Nice, so you can go extremely fast or extremely slow. So not only does it have turbo, it has high low gear selection. This is a top notch racer. Feels quality, uh, no shocks on this guy. Uh, wheels are slightly dry rotted, but usable. Now, will it work? <laughs> Hell no. Sometimes you gotta click it back and forth. Nothing yet. Let's give it a couple hits. Nothing. Pop open the hood. Give the batteries a spin. <gasps> it's alive. All right, so it's doing something. However, there's no steering. Uh, so let's, let's do the old wiggle it back and forth. Maybe it'll get some steering. Oh no, it got steering. Okay. So you have to actually... Uh... It works fine. All right, look at that. Nice. Let's <laughs> see what that. Hey, with these dry rotted tires, we can do some drifting. All right, so this thing actually, yeah, this works. Look at that. Uh, that wasn't high. Let me put it in low. So it might work a little better on a table. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, what, what the heck was this again? A Porsche. Uh, Jay's gonna be upset because I didn't know the answer to this. Jay, uh, Jay, it's, 
It's Jay's Porsche. Um, it's a Porsche 956. Porsche 956 number 35. Ah, all right. Let's get some race car action, folks. Enjoy the Frankie Cheese messy basement. <laughs> This is just regular speed here. <laughs> Let's see what high speed is like. That was low speed. Of course, uh, the real thing is to maybe take it out outside. Ooh. It's like a drift car with the dry run of tires. <laughs> We're drifting. Ah! Watch out for the tank. That was pretty cool. I like this. Um, so it's a fully functional radio control car. So at some point I'm going to post another video where I just kind of feature it. You know, we'll do uh, some action shots and, you know, maybe take it across some jumps. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but uh, it should be pretty cool. Check it out. Uh, this is a kind of a cool find. Uh, thank you, Mary, whoever you are. Uh, I'm enjoying... Um, this old car of yours. And uh, hey, don't forget to subscribe for more silly, crazy videos where we'll review more vintage toys. I am quite happy and pleased with this. Put it in the comments if you had one of these as a kid or remind you of some childhood thing. Or if you're Mary and were the one that originally played with this car. Maybe Mary's like a race car driver now, you know? You never know. You never know. So tune in next week when I say, ooh, I give this one two thumbs up. I can't wait to take this out on a bigger area and just turn her loose. Frankie Cheese Vintage Toy Adventures. Ooh.